Hey guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm going to do an re inbox review of the relatively new kit from Svesta, the 172 scale Russian trainer aircraft Jack 130. Uh, but first of all, a very short description of the subject itself. So, if we start to look at the gift box, it has a really nice illustration of the Jack 130 on the front. And um, I think it looks great in this, uh, in this color scheme or camo scheme. Uh, at the side, we have a paint callout for uh, Svesta and Humbrol paints, um, an overview of the decal sheet. And we see that the uh, Catalog number is uh, 7307. Um, yeah, on the other side, we have some other products for uh, from Vesvesta. And um, on the back side, we have a picture of the built model some details as you can see there are plenty of, uh, of options for for uh, armament and uh, we also see that the, it's a 172 scale kit it has 176 parts and it's uh, 16 centimeter long when it's built okay the gift box itself it's very robust, very uh, stable. Uh, a typical Svesta uh, gift box, I would say. And, uh, and the reason because it's, it's so stable is that it's actually two boxes. So uh, there is one which you have a side opening box just for the artwork. And then we have this sort of cardboard, cheap cardboard box that is uh, doesn't look so sexy but it's actually very good and it keeps the parts safe during transportation and uh, also in your stash. Okay, so if we open up the box we see that it is packed with sprues. Uh, we have an uh, instruction manual. I will go into that more in detail later because I think that needs some explanation and we also have uh, we have a lot of bags one two three four five six seven eight nine sprues to all together and we have uh, decal sheet with uh, tons of stencils and uh, not so much uh, markings but of course this is a trainer so um, uh, I believe that there are will probably be uh, aftermarket uh, decal sheets out there uh, anytime soon and some kind of information in uh, I think this is probably safety information or something like that so yeah that's uh, that's the box the main sprues come uh, packed together in a bag and um, if we look at the first runner uh, we have fuselage parts and main wing section 
Uh, this is a nose. There are some nice details, I think. Uh, the panel lines are a little bit shallow if you want to to add a wash, um, but they well, are probably quite realistic, uh, I think. I have no idea what this is. Oh, no idea. <laughs> uh, this is probably the belly. Uh, some nice details as well and um, uh, there this this is actually quite quite um, advanced design for uh, for 172 scale with the uh, separated uh, front and, and back sections and you have uh, at a top and bottom section so it's uh, quite it's uh, Normally, 172 scale is just two. The fuselage is just two parts that you put together, but this is a little bit more elaborated. Okay, yeah, here's the, the IP cover. Some nice and crisp details, and this is the the, the air scope, the air intake, and um, yeah, this is really good. They they have placed, um, yeah, they have placed um, ejection pins on on the opposite side, so you won't mess up the the, um, the tunnel or the uh, the funnel. Um, I need to clean that, clean up that. That is probably a rail or hard point or something. Um, wow, this is the the air brakes, the inside. Looks really nice. As as you can see, the the panel lines are a bit soft and um, and a bit shallow, but uh, yeah, I I think they. If you want to uh, put some effort to it and really want to have a wash there, you you will probably have to rescribe the panel lines and. Um, if you like to do that, I do not, <laughs> so I will probably not do that when I build this kit. Okay, so that's the first runner. Uh, second sprue, uh, lots and lots of small parts, and we have the underside of the wings. And uh, yeah, there are actually two options here. Um, for Here's the other one. Hmm, cool. Uh, th there are, as you can see, there are the engine intakes and the the compressor uh, stage, first stage. Um, and that that's a nice, nice touch. I think uh, it's possible to get the engines to look really good on this uh, on this model. I think. Um, yeah, no. Ejection pin marks like that, and uh, wheels look look good as well. These are the instrument panels. Um, there is oh, that's the inside of the of the air brake. Yeah, and I think this this uh, this is it. And some kind of tubing around the engine. That's also nice. Uh, there, there are so so many parts on this spruce; it's almost uh, difficult to, uh, to to see what they are for. And as I mentioned earlier, this is a kit with uh, 176 parts. So uh, I guess there is a lot of small parts that needs to be put together. Okay, uh, let's just check the engine intakes. Yeah, no ejection pin marks. I like that. That is very good. Yep. 
this looks uh, really nice. If we continue with the decals, uh, the the kit comes in with the two marking options, and uh, as far as I can see, I think the de decals looks uh, really good. Um, the stars look really crisp, I think. There's no offset or or uh, oversized uh, transfer film or anything like that. It seems uh, they feel they will probably look good on the model. Uh, there are lots of stencils and uh, the majority of them will probably go onto the ordnance. Uh, but they, there are some of that are on the, should be placed on the aircraft as well. Um, the only issue or potential issue I can see is that the, these areas here with the lines, they are a solid um, uh, decal. And um, that, since they go on a curved surface, I think they, that might be a little bit difficult to to place them and to make them set uh, properly. Um, one approach to fix this would of course be to cut out uh, the middle section here. And uh, But then you have to deal with uh, making the lines straight and stuff like that. So yeah, I don't know if it, that is a, it's a good idea or not. I, I think that I would consider that uh, when, when building this kit. So yeah, that's the decals. If we look at the clear parts, uh, they come packed uh, individual, individually in a Ziploc bag. Um, and I think they, I have checked them under uh, magnifying glass and I think they, they look really nice, very clear and sharp. It's, it's difficult to to show any imperfection on the camera because everything looks great in uh, on <laughs> in the bright light. Um, but um, as you can see, there is an explosion cord uh, at the center of the canopy, and um, I have actually seen mask sets uh, for for this. I don't know if if it's how easy it is to to place a mask inside a curved uh, in, inside the curved canopy but uh, but since they are um, recessed uh, the the the, um, the cord is sort of uh, recessed into the surface i think it's possible to uh, to use a wash um, as an alternative so uh, that, i think that is something that you have to Considered, there is no uh, no decal for the explosion cord in the, in the in the decal sheet, so you have to paint it or or yeah, leave it as it is if you don't want to mess up the canopy and can live with the uh, with the um, with that. Okay, I think they they look good. Um, distortion is not awful I think so yeah I think they look good they will probably look, look good on the on the kit next up we have the spruce with the weapons and uh, additional parts uh, here we have two identical spruce um, we have this is a R73 Archer, I think the NATO designation is. Um, over here we have a KH25. Uh, an air to surface missiles. And yeah, this is, that is the tail part. And we have a pilot. Let's see if I can catch the... Details, yeah, looks nice, I think. And we have the ejection seat and some, I think these are 
cockpit parts. And that is the wheel hub and the tire for the main wheel, main landing gear wheel. Yeah, that's it. And finally we have the last bag of uh, spruce with weapons. Um, this is unguided bombs. I have no idea what they are called, but I think they look good. Uh, more ungated bombs. This uh, uh, that is probably the fuse section. Really nice detail. Yeah. Nice. And we have more ungated bombs. Or free fall bombs. looking good and we have the final sprue with uh, rocket pods Ooh, these are really nice let's see if I can catch that on camera yeah that looks really crisp awesome yeah like that and uh, the other one these are both the B8 and the B13 rocket pod. Cool. And we have uh, air to surface missile. I think this one is called KAB 500 or something like that. I'm not quite sure. It's uh, I'm not super familiar with uh, uh, Soviet uh, ordnance <laughs> to be to be honest um, yeah this is uh, this is really good the rocket pods ro looks uh, fantastic okay so if we take a closer look at the assembly instructions we see that on the first page we have some information about the aircraft itself we have some safety information. We have the building options, gear down or gear up. Uh, on the second page we have a sprue call out and we have the decal sheet. We have some tools that are probably possible to buy from Svesta, I guess. And then we start looking at the ins assembly instructions itself. And um, for someone that is not used to Svesta, this can be a bit confusing. But uh, basically all the grey parts here that you see that has a reference, for example this one 5A, you have on the side here you have the sub-assembly. So in order to, to get that you need to build this first and then you can do the rest of the assembly. Um, normally you it's quite easy because you follow the numbers and that's it but you have to uh, to uh, first look at the sub-assembly and put those parts together and then you can continue with the first step and then you can move on to the second step where you check the sub-assembly and so forth and so on um, this looks like a I would say it's a quite complicated build for a 172 scale and uh, as I mentioned earlier there are 160 sorry 176 parts in this uh, kit so there are lots of stuff that needs to be put, put together um, and as you can see, this this is only there's only eight pages uh, in, in this uh, instruction, 
so it's quite uh, it's it's not it's very compact with a lot of information in every picture so it i would say this is not an easy build for uh, for a beginner this is uh, actually something that i think a uh, more experienced um modeler would uh, appreciate more than a, a novice or, or a beginner and we have um yeah, there are lots of stuff, lots of weapons. Uh, because this is not only a trainer, this is this aircraft can be used as a light uh, attack aircraft and a reconnaissance aircraft and a, a countermeasurement platform. So it's um, there are a lot of lot of uh, op options. And uh, there are two pilots included in the kit. And uh, yeah, this is a reference to the <laughs> to the stand sh showed on the first page. Uh, this is not included. You have to order that uh, separately. So, and here we have the uh, stencils or technical inscriptions, as they call it. And on the final page we have the paint call out and we have the paint guides and some uh, decals for the markings. And I would say that painting a scheme like this without the color, uh, full col color guide, that is quite, um, quite challenging. So um, again, I don't think this is a, a kit that is uh, uh, targeted for a for a beginner. This is probably for someone that is uh, more experienced and can search the internet for uh, reference photos and uh, and are also quite good at both building and, and painting. Okay, so that's the. Um, that's the assembly instructions. I think they are a bit sparse. They uh, um, they could have added more steps into the the building um, the building procedure or the building sequence. Uh, but um, yeah, that's it. I think. So what is my impression of the kit? I think this is for an experienced 172 scale builder. This is a really good kit. It has a lot of nice details. It uh, It's uh, well engineered and it has a lot of weapons and options. So uh, you can make something that is really interesting. Um, on the downside, I think that the instructions could be a, a little bit more detailed and uh, have more steps so it's easier to understand what uh, which part to to do in which order instead of uh, jumping back and forth between the main track and and the assembly of sub modules which can which can be a little bit confusing uh, also i think that the paint call out should really have references to vallejo uh, tamia or guns uh, instead of only Humbrol and Svesta paints, which I think is not available in, in outside <laughs> Russia or, or, or the eastern countries. Um, apart from that, I think that um, I'm not sure that I can recommend it. I actually have to build it for, first to, uh, to have an opinion on fit and if it's uh, an easy build or not. And, uh, if I will would uh, recommend it to anyone, but uh, as far as I can see from looking at the sprues and uh, and with with the disclaimer that uh, I think uh, it's it needs to be an experienced builder. I think this is a great kit. Um, and there are some, I've seen that there are some aftermarket stuff coming out on uh, 
for this kit now, like uh, Eduard uh, PE Zoom kits and uh, masking sets. And um, I think that some of the weapons uh, is possible to source in resin. Uh, I, I think so. I haven't really checked, but I, I think it should be. These are most of the, those the weapons we have here are quite old and uh, can be found on many other uh, Russian aircraft. So that is something that is also I think would attract a, a more experienced builder that is possible to pimp the kit with uh, lots of aftermarket and make some make a model that is really special and uh, and uh, and uh, the way that you want to have it so I will uh, some at some point I will build this and uh, there will be a reveal log uh, for this of course uh, later on I cannot say when I do this but uh, when when I, I, I will Probably when I see that there are aftermarket parts available and I have um, purchased what I think I need, then I might uh, put it on my on my um, on my waiting list for for um, for upcoming builds. So okay, that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. Hope you have uh, got something out of my rambling and uh, <laughs> mumbling and um, in broken English uh, hopefully you uh, got some information about this kit and uh, can make up your mind if you think that this is something that you want to build or something that you will will possible anyway goodbye see you later